You know, ladies and gentlemen, this is why I'm frustrated with this administration, okay? Because, you know, um, the United States re refuses a lot of people that lives in the Bahamas entering in the United States. And this guy right here, your president, had the audacity to say that we will not allow drug dealers and gangs into our borders. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm going to go ahead and play this and I'm going to continue the rest of my commentary. Everybody needs totally proper documentation because, the look, the, the uh, Bahamas had some tremendous problems with people going to the Bahamas that weren't supposed to be there. I don't want to allow people that weren't supposed to be in the Bahamas to come in to the United States including some very bad people and some very bad gang members and some very, very bad drug dealers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is sickening to my stomach. So let me get this right. Your president, 45, is saying that the reason why they refuse is evacuees from the Bahamas to the United States because they don't want drug dealers and gang members to, you know, without proper documentation to enter in the country. As I re if I recall that you didn't do that to the Cuban refugees, you didn't do that to other refugees that needed help, but now when it comes to the, Baham the Bahamian people, oh, well, we can't uh, accept them because they, they, they got drug dealers and gang members to enter in the country. I cannot believe what I've been hearing. This is the problem, ladies and gentlemen. This is the problem right now that we're the most laughing stock in the, in the world because of what they're doing. People are dying out there in the Bahamas. And you're telling me you're not going to accept them in? And you got family here that lives in the United States. They accepted people in. You know, they were going to accept them until they re, um, they probably rebuilt what's going on in the Bahamas. So now it's very, very upsetting. And it, but it proves, too, that he could accept anybody. It's like the South Africans, the white South Africans who, quote unquote, been attacked by uh, by black South Africans. They claiming that they want their, their land back. Oh, the president would love to bring them in. But when you have a tragedy, a, a, a situation that people are dying and people need to get out, they needed help in the Bahamas. Now you're telling folks, oh, we cannot bring them in. We cannot bring them because they fear of gang members and drug dealers. That's going to. Are you serious? Oh, man. Oh my good. You mean it's so you allow these people to die. And they even I already, I already posted my videos previously. Um the the people that were there that don't have anything. They don't have no food, no water, no shelter to go to. Um and they say they have evacuees. And remember, ladies and gentlemen. They thought, the people of the Bahamas thought they were safe when they go into the ferries. They got kicked out of the ferries. They're the, the entering in the United States. They, they, they just kicked the Bahamian people out of those ferries. So, yes, I'm very angry. This is, I mean, people are dying over there. And this, they don't give a damn. Tell me what you think about this. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.